So for the headlight, we've got some 10 millis. We've got one, two, a clip here. We've got, uh, let's see, here in the front. Is there any? I don't see any. And we do have along the side one that's sneaky right here. And I believe it's like a 13 milli and it's way up in there. So let's go ahead and run these off. All right, starting on the top, 10 mils. Oh, that one's coming out with some with some torque there. Um, the screws are the same. Let's go ahead and save these. Uh, we'll put these in here. And uh, we have a clip here. And like we were saying, there's just this one sneaky guy over here. And I believe it's a 13. All right, so let's switch over to what looks like a 13 mil. Uh, 13. Bear with me. I'm not left-handed, so I'm trying to do this. I might switch hands if I feel like I can't swing it. Okay, so I did have to set the camera down, so I'm going to need two hands. So coming in, pushing down this rubber. Got to be extra careful not to touch the paint with this socket because that will scratch the paint for sure. But going in there it came out carefully slipping this out without touching the paint Let's see if we can't get our hands in here and remove this bolt and then again not to hit the paint with it there we have it perfect removal all right let's pop this headlight out okay so headlight removal once everything is removed you have two 10 millis here, a 13 through here, super careful. Now, you're supposed to take off the bumper, but there is a way to do this without. There is a push pin style location right here that holds the headlight in, and there's a squishiness down here with this plastic, and you have to watch your contact around this side because if you start ripping at this thing to get it out, you'll be pushing the headlight into the fender area right here. Also, you have to be very aware of this area right here because it's very tight and it kind of swings with this point here. It kind of swings around that. So what I like to do is I like to pull away a little with this edge and then I will free my clip from the top, work it back a little, pushing down and pulling back from here. You hear that pop? That's the clip that the push pin or whatever is part of the headlight. Then I'm going to watch this area right here on top and swing it down around now from there i'm just gonna work it out i'm gotta not put i've got to make sure i'm not putting pressure on my fender and once it's to this point it's basically free i just gotta wiggle it out and there it is we've got our headlight plugs I'm gonna unplug these so that we can update our headlights or upgrade our headlights so unplug it, super easy, unplug, all unplugged, and our headlight is free. So with the headlights out, I've got them sitting here on some carpet so they won't be scratched. Let's go ahead and open up this box and see what comes in from uh, this company. It's pronounced Oxido. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But they did send me these lights and I am going to be trying these out. Now, from my experience in the past, switching over to LED lights has always provided a huge benefit. They do give you some gloves, it looks like. But will my hands fit in those gloves? I do not know. But let's take a look at the light here. Whoa, look at that. Dang, that's uh, pretty impressive. I'm definitely curious to how these are going to turn out. Let's go ahead and put them inside here. You've got to be careful, though. First of all, these gloves, do they actually fit my hands? Let's see here. They fit very... Uh, Oddly enough, they fit. Let's see if I can get this all one-handed. Oh, um, how do these come out of there? Let's see. All right, so to get these out, you just got to turn them. It's going to take some force. In order to get, the, get it out, a little downward pressure. 
and some force, and they will give. So there's one, and there's the other one. And here are the new ones. Now, I didn't read the instructions, but I'd imagine you wouldn't want to touch anywhere in there. So let's hurry up and get these in there. Uh, there's one. See if they fit. One thing I didn't look at is the orientation of the plug. I don't know if that matters. If this even will be easy enough to put in. I don't know if the orientation of the plug matters. This one's in the hole. Just put the other one in the hole and then we'll tighten them up. Okay, so it's a little hard to put these in. So I want to talk about how I've kind of figured out how to do it. So basically, you take your new light bulb and you get it ready to go in and before you pull the other one out you have to pull it and not only look at the orientation of this but look at the orientation of this tab here with the extra indentation on it the other ones are smooth and then when you take this out this tab with the extra notch was located in the top corner so if you just look at the plug well it's a different light so the plugs orientated differently you have to orientate the light based on the extra notch as seen there compared to there so if you put that notch that is extra in the same position then it should go in easily let's see if it works Oh, and another thing I just discovered is there's a yellow gasket on the new light. And when you put it in, it goes in very fine, very easily. So I think what was going on is the other gaskets, these red ones, I'm going to set this in here. But these red gaskets belong to the other headlight bulbs, and they're just stuck there. So that's why I'm having a hard time. So, yeah, that explains it all. These actually belong to those other lights, and it's making things difficult. Now, interestingly enough, this one worked. Oh, the red, the red's not on this one. I was wondering why that one worked. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense. Double gasketing here. So on the one light that did work, the uh, red gasket came off. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Oh, here it is here. These red gaskets stay here, and sometimes they don't stay. They stay on the headlight. So that, that threw me off for a second. So anyway, let's go ahead and get these in here. I was wondering what was going on. I was like, man, am I losing it? So just getting it in the hole. Get it to drop in. Make sure my yellow gasket is there. Uh, got it in. Turn it. No problems. Turns right in there. So these, yeah, I was a little thrown off by that. Headlight in, or headlight bulb in. Turn it. And good to go. Once I get two hands, I'll turn it the last little inch. So what's interesting is they also gave me better reverse lights. And these ones go into tail lights. I'll probably do that in another video, but it, it makes it so you can see behind you at night a lot better. I know the factory tail lights are just not that bright. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this finished up and get these lights installed in the truck. Okay, so when it comes to installing the light, the same thing applies. You need to be able to work this thing in here. You've got your locating pin there, so you kind of sneak in there like so. And like I say, without bumper removal, if you really want to do it real slick, you remove the bumper. And it's easier. You don't have to finesse it. But it's a lot heavier, more time. So sneak the bottom in first. See if I can get this on the first try. Set it there on our rubber. Walk it over. And then watch in our top corner here that we don't make too much contact. It's like one way through. There's just barely enough room. It's all about being patient too with this part. Being patient. 
extremely patient. You don't want to force this. You'll scratch up your truck. Working the bottom into position. Squishing down our rubber gasket to give us room. So once you've gotten here, now your eye needs to go here, top corner, and down pressure. Swing it back. We're making contact right here on our magnesium. And that's exactly what we want. We're making contact right there. You can hear that. That's this plastic hitting there. But we're clearing this area right here. This is very important. To clear. We've got a push pin there. So we're just going to overcome this just enough. And this is our slip. Boom. There it goes. And we push it in and our push pin's in. Very easy peasy. Let me get on the other side. Very gently getting my headlight. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't plug that in, but that's okay. I didn't. I've got to plug everything in on that side. But very gently, gingerly grabbing my headlight. I need to push this in so it's in this correct orientation. And then we are going to slip the light into position. Now, again, we've got to watch out for our J-clip that's right there. We've got to swing that in nicely with our fender. We don't need this part hitting our fender. Going to go in like so, just tucking that into the fender. We've got to watch this area here. We've got to get the bottom of the light into the socket. Um, now is probably a good time to plug in our light. I mean, I forgot to plug that one in. When it's out like this, it's a good time. We've got this plug. I need to plug the other one in. Once we've got the bottom of the light where we want it, we can come bring our attention to the top here and just push down and just slip into our light socket like so then slide into place very easy and this one i plugged in this one i gotta pop backwards and plug everything in how smart of me to not plug in the light so i had to hurry up and wrap everything up it is starting to rain and the clouds are rolling in so i didn't film the install but i do want to point out a couple of pitfalls if you are going to do this Number one, make sure you unplug the camera and the sprayer for the front camera if you have a front camera. Number two, super careful when you finesse these headlights out. Watch your angles right here in this corner and down in this area. You don't want to just for force it out. Just take your time. Watch your paint. You don't want to scratch up your truck trying to remove the headlight. Uh, number, uh, I don't know what number I'm on, but... uh. There's a couple of different ways that you could actually go about doing this. I've heard that you can actually take this battery out instead. Uh, if that seems like it'd be easier for you, if you were to take this battery and tray out, then you could probably reach in there and get to your headlight bulb that way through the battery and the tray. Or on this side, you can remove your air filter, air box, the full air box assembly and probably get in behind your headlight uh, if you don't want to remove the headlights. The fender liner maybe as well, but maybe not. You know, it's hard to say there. So there's other ways to do this, but according to the book, they want you to remove the grill and headlights. Um, make sure you got all your screws. This here, I still got to do. I still got to put this on. This cover like this. I believe you hook it like so and push it on. And that's exactly how I remove it with my hook tool. Uh, if you want to see that one more time real quick, I like to take my hook tool in here like this and then it pops off. It's, if I were able to catch it, I'm always running one hand so I can't catch it. But that comes off super easy without, without breaking the other one like so. Easy peasy. But anyway, that is headlight removal grill. Let's go ahead and turn these on so we can see how this looks. 
here is how the truck looks with the new headlights. Much better, not that old dull look. You have the full LED, you get the benefits of the LED lights without the added cost of actually upgrading the truck to the real deal LED lights. But anyway, this is Sean, this is DS Trucks. If you wanna order these lights, I have a discount code for you. Make sure, oh, another thing, make sure when you put the bulbs in, the old gaskets come off with the bulbs. But anyway, my name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. See you in the next video. Over and out.